My brothers and sisters, what is set before us in this place is the welcome feast of the children of God. At this table, we gather as one united community together. It is the table of communion with generations long past, those who first brought you to this table. And it is the table of communion with those yet to come. And so this table does not belong to this or any church, but to its host, our welcoming Lord. So if you have much faith or if you would like to have more faith, come to this table. If you have been to this table quite often, you are invited, and if you have not been for a long time, you are invited. If you have tried to follow Jesus Christ, and if you have failed, you are welcome at this table. For our Lord invites all who seek him to join him at this feast. With all that you are and all that you wish to be, with every fear and anxiety and doubt, with all your hopes and your dreams and the faith you can muster, bring yourself to this table. Because Christ has invited us to meet him here. And here you will find him. Come to the table. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is right to give our thanks and praise. Holy God, we praise you for your love, bringing order out of chaos, breathing life into dust, leading captives into freedom, consuming false idols with holy fire, calling wandering children home, giving bread to the hungry, giving drink to the thirsty, raising the dead to life. We give you thanks for Jesus Christ, word made flesh, light of the world, living water, shepherd and gate, way and truth and life. Remembering your gracious acts, we offer our lives to you in service and praise as we keep the feast that Christ prepares, taking this bread and this cup from the gifts of your creation and joyfully celebrating Christ's presence and reconciling love. With the faithful of every time and place, we raise our voices in songs of praise. Gracious God, now pour out your Holy Spirit among us in this bread, in this cup, in your people, one in the body, one in the blood, one with Christ, one in mission, one in ministry, in this place, in every place, in this world and in the world to come, through Jesus Christ, with Christ, in Christ in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor are yours, almighty God, now and forever. And now with the confidence of the children of God, we pray as Christ taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Jesus and his friends were all together in one place, that upstairs room gathered around that table. When our Lord took the loaf of bread and after giving thanks to God, he broke it and he said, this is my body which is broken for you. Whenever you eat this bread, do this in remembrance of me. In the same manner, he took the cup saying, this cup is the new covenant, sealed in my blood, shed for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this in remembrance of me. Every time you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the saving death of the risen Lord until he comes again. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. Jesus said, I am the vine, You are the branches. Come to me and never be hungry. Believe in me and never be thirsty. Friends, the feast has been prepared. We are invited to taste and see that the Lord is good. This morning we will receive communion by intinction. You're invited to exit the pew by the right aisle. Come forward, receive first a piece of bread, dip it into the cup. Partake of communion and return to your pew by the left side. If this morning you would prefer to receive communion in your pew, elders will bring the elements to you. Simply raise your hand as they pass your pew. Would the elders please come forward?
Lord Jesus Christ, you have put your life into our hands. We now put our lives into yours. Take us, renew us, remake us. What we have been is past. What we shall be through you still awaits us. Lead us on. Amen.